Bio-LNG is a renewable fuel which can make a large positive impact on the needed reductions of the emissions in the transport sector. It is produced by liquefaction of biomethane, a gas which is 100% renewable and has the same properties as natural gas. Biomethane avoids emissions that would otherwise occur naturally and on top of that it displaces the use of fossil fuels. Besides, it's produced using sustainable feedstocks from agriculture and waste. The installation of biomethane plants has grown significantly over the past few years. Europe is producing now 31 terawatt hours and can increase to 380 terawatt hours by 2030. The current production trend of bio-LNG can already cover 45-50% to 50 of the demand of the transport sector in 2030. Who says that investing in LNG infrastructure creates lock-in effects? Let me tell you something. The infrastructure we use today for LNG can be easily used tomorrow for bio-LNG without almost any additional investments. So, the more infrastructure we build today for LNG, the better prepared we will be for bio-LNG. Not investing in LNG infrastructure today would only lock us in a highly polluting world of dirty heavy fuel oil. And who wants that? Bio-LNG is being used today as a marine fuel by the shipping industry in Europe. It is blended for use in existing LNG fuel vessels and delivered through existing bunkering infrastructure. There are no limits to the amount of bio-LNG an LNG fuel vessel can burn. Bio-LNG produced from sustainable biomass feedstocks is scalable for the shipping industry's needs. There are more than sufficient feedstocks to cover the entire energy demand from the global shipping fleet. Finally, bio-LNG is likely to be competitive with other proposed future zero emission fuels as and when they become available. Today, BioLNG is ready to play its role to reach our 2030 climate targets and start the decarbonisation of the heavy-duty sector without further delay. Reasons are simple. Technology is ready, fuel is available and it is cost-efficient. Today, we have already more than 12,000 LNG trucks on the European road. The market is dynamic and fast growing and by 2030 we expect more than 280,000 LNG vehicles on our road. Secondly, bio-LNG is an easy way to decarbonize the heavy-duty sector. In a country like Finland, already using close to 50% bio-LNG in their blend, CO2 emissions are reduced by 70% compared to LNG, a real booster. Finally, bio-LNG is a very competitive and cost-effective solution, making it the perfect answer to freight transport. That's why we call upon policymakers to acknowledge bio-LNG as key element of the European roadmap for transport decarbonization.